Welcome back. It is me, your host for the show, Piper of the Doug. So what you are looking at here is fully weaned main herd. Um, the two-year-old heifers, uh, they're still to wean their dozen calves. Not a big deal. But this was the big one. This was the main, yeah, really big calf. This was the big one. This is the main herd. And like I said, gate. That's how we do it. As you can see the pattern. So this year, the big difference was Mrs. Piper Doug, she jumped right in there. So she did the walk around, which kept the animals moving and not just congregating. So yeah, she uh, she kept walking them around and every so often she'd pull a cow out and walk it down to the gate away from the calves. Cause of course all farmers know the calves will get into the thick of it and spoil your plans. So from start to finish was 45 minutes. Yes, not half an hour, but how it is is the main herd goes out in under 10 minutes. And then you're always left with about a half a dozen to about 10 cows at the end that are kind of spooky. So they'll come round to the gate one at a time. And then about part way into when you get to about the 20, 25 minute mark, the herd that's out there eating silage, figure out what's going on and then they all come back. So that's what slowed it down. It was one particularly ornery lady. Old B-52, the old bomber there. Yeah, she decided she wanted to come back and see what's going on. Yeah, this is our bull. He's, he got into a bad fight and uh, I think, I think he's done. We're gonna, we're gonna put the grain to him, help him out, but something in the shoulders. Yeah. So yeah, that's the main, the main gist. Are all weaned. Nice to be done that job. So now, now that they're weaned, these ladies out here, well, what's about, what's about it? This is 52. Oh no, it's Bowie's mum. Now these guys can go out to the cornfield because I wasn't going to let the cows and the babies out to the cornfield because they'll be out there for a few weeks. As you can see, so yeah, now these guys go out and hopefully that'll keep them away down in the field and not standing in here yelling at the back of the yard. Calves will be yelling enough for the pair of them, but so yeah, so what we'll end up doing is still have the part of that wall down there to repair and then uh, I'll let the calves across the road to their pen and then hold the bulls back and then the bulls will go to their uh, their little corral along here, same as last year. So yeah, job done. She's a good one. So now, there's a big pile over there. I'll probably show you that. Just wait till they figure out they can get in here. Still not sure. I gotta run over there, close the gate first though. Ah. There goes Felicia. Jenny. There's the 970 year old cow. Isn't that right, Ed? That's them all figuring it out now. What? What? What is this? Hope there's some corn left in there. The birds were doing a right number on it. Once they figure out what's way over the over the hill there, you can just kind of see it. Just right before you see those trees. That's the top of where the sedan grass is. Oh, they're in for a treat when they get to that stuff. Like I said, the stuff is uh, eight feet tall. And the old stragglers. 
we had wondered about uh, once we moved the calves across to their pen and sorted the bulls out we would run the animals back in oh there's a lady um, we would run the cows back into the corral one more time and pull off the older lame infirm ones but this just works out better it stops them hanging out back there at the back of the corral and yelling at the babies and breaking fences and all that stuff. That 947,000 year old cow, this is her little sister. She's two years younger. So she's coming up on 19. No, she's 19 now, yeah, that's what it is. She's 19 now, so. Oh, they're happy. They got the whole field. Normally we'd make this into paddocks, but because there was, well, you guys saw in the earlier video, it was like right here. We had to shave the ground just to make up some silage bales. So it ended up being 65 acres of chopped silage and uh, what does that make? 12 acres that we cut and baled and then there's another eight acres of Sudan grass over there and these little bluffs here so it's about eight acres that they're gonna have full grazing on which is literally a paddock um, so yeah they'll be good in here for another month we'll still uh, give them some bales over there and bring some silage out to them but it won't be as often as what we have been doing oh here's old pudding just meandering her way up here that's the red one in the middle there she twisted her back right leg so i'm really really hoping she's on the mend she's getting better but she is a big family favorite She's an I cow, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So she is nine years into ours, so 2009. So yeah, she's getting on there, but she's still, she's still in the prime, she's in the prime. Yeah, look, they're just gonna go from bluff to bluff. What's in here? What's in here? What's in here? So yeah, I'm gonna go and isolate all the other electric fences. That's what I've been doing is as I've been shutting them back here, I isolate all the other fences so that during the winter, we don't have any extra draws on the power. So I've just got to go and clip two more fences off of this field and then that's, that's winter grazing started. Here's one of the old timers that I thought about trying to isolate because it's not fair making her walk all over, all over the place, but She's gone home. Maybe the next storm when they come into the corral and a bit of all bedded up, I'll grab them, but it's, I think that's old Tandy. So yeah, she's younger than that 9,000 year old cow over there. Figure that one out. She's a D cow. So she's younger than even the ancient one's little sister. Genetics. Genetics. There's Puddin. She got here. Yeah, see it. See, she's just a wee, wee, a wee, oh, sorry. A wee bit of a poop. Just when she, when she hyperextends it, she takes, takes a bit of a, a bit of a lurch. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Weaning's done. Cows are in the corn. Giggity. So don't worry. We have not forgotten about the project. It's going in. To be continued.
Yeah. It's gonna be a long night. Already had two breakouts already. Cows, that is, not the calves. The calves are locked up. Yeah. All the calves moved except one. Yep. There's always one. You're a special kind of stupid.